What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Cast Gamer, and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode, in the last episode, we started continuing. We uh, we left the Weather Institute, started working our way south, and we ended up here on this bridge, seeing a familiar face. So, in this episode, we're actually going to continue following this path, and it looks like the dead, that the Deadly Seven are here. The Deadly Seven, sorry. Um, so, looks like we're going to have a few battles today. So, we're going to do a quick team recap. I feel like I'm a little bit underleveled, but everyone's been doing so... Everyone's been doing pretty well, so I'm not really complaining. So first up, we got Sapuku, our level 41 shift tree, holding the leftovers with Bide, Fan Attack, Cut, and Fake Out. Our newly evolved Gary the Macargo, level 38, holding the Demon Horn with Yawn, Fire Pump, Rock Throw, and Harden. Next is Puffy, our Quill Shark, holding the Brain Link with Minimize, Headbutt, Water Gun, and Pin Missile. Next is Maya, our level 41 Gyarados, with Twister, Storm Surge, Bite, and Surf, holding the Gamble Fish. Next is Poic or Claydol level 40, not holding anything with Psybeam, Harden, Piper Beam, and Ancient Power. And last but not least, we have Terry or Aerodactyl level 40 with Bite, Supersonic, Ancient Power, and Scary Phase. Um, so like always, we're going to lead off with Seppuku because he has that fake out. General- what? Alright. So it looks like it is the Deadly 7 again. So this is going to be fun. Oh look! Your Beldum is now a Matang! How for how unfortunate for you that I have Fane Attack, but first take this fake out. Because I do not want to know what you have. This Matang is also level 40, so everyone's pretty, pretty normal in terms of levels, I think. Wow, that Fane Attack did not as much as what I thought. Alright. That scary face is fine. Do another yeah, metal cloth. So Puku can take it. Whoa, you got the attack boost. Uh-oh. Alright. Uh, hold this faint attack again for me. Just uh, just hold it for me. And one more faint attack should do it. Metal claw again. This should bring me down to about half. Uh, all right. Anyway, take this take this faint attack again. Go ahead and die, and he's done. Who's next? Another Matang. Uh, yes, I'm gonna switch. Um. Kind of. You know what? I'm gonna switch out to Gary because he is part steel. He is part, he's Steel Psychic, so he should take damage to fire. Should. I believe so. So here, take this Fire Pump. Gary, thank you. Here, hold this Fire Pump for me. Look at that, look at that, look at that! That was a crit, too! Woo! Alright. <laughs> I'm wooing all the time now. Um... Let's go with another fire palm. And bye bye. And Matang goes down, and Rolf is dead. Puffy's now level 38. Very nice. The cow gun got broken. Cow gun? Cow gun. Troops retreat. Oh. A young hero trapped in a, <laughs> a young hero trapped in a devilish web of lies. Who can you trust? Who can you believe in? When all else fails, where can you take refuge? Do you now see this plot? This fear you feel. This is the true power. This is the power of a true paranoia. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm recording this in the morning because my voice gets right deep in the morning. Gets like right deep. In the um, and a little bit raspy in the vo in the in the throat, so that was uh, that kind of worked. 
All right, so we start off with a Flaffy. Nothing really spectacular there, honestly. Got myself a free Leftovers heal, so that's nice. Let's go for a Faint Attack, see how much this does. You're only pure electric, so... Look at that damage. Woo! Woo. I'm woo I'm a I'm in a wooing mood today. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Alright. Um we can go let's go for another faint attack. I never never miss faint attacks, so if it's doing the damage, it's doing if it's doing the damage. And we got another cells, another flaffy. Ambulance. You can stop. I hope that did not get put in. I hope that did not get shown into the uh, recording. That's fine. We'll go for another faint attack because we can't go fake out again. That's fine. Faint attack. Look at that. Sapuku. Sapuku is pulling off a of Maya. Getting crits everywhere. Oh, well, this coffee's gone, so I'm going to take that off the desk. So now I got myself a little bit of an arm room on the desk. That's fine. That's cool. Um, let's go cut. You're lowering, you're lowering my speed. All right, that's cool. That's fine. As long as I just as long as I hit this cut, we're fine. We're good to go. <laughs> All right, and you're done as expected. I am a ROM hacker. Shut up. You were really creepy when you attacked me. <laughs> butter bread on both butter bread on both sides. Then it will always fall butter side down. Now away. What the hell are these guys? A bagel is a representative re representative of is a representative of life, a continuous never-ending circle. Your life, however, is a bagel with a bite taken out of it, and that bite is your past and the truth. Where will you find it? Can you even can you even find it? The web of lies draws tighter. This guy is like, these guys are now pretty much giving, giving me the plot of the game. <laughs> like completely breaking the fourth wall here. It's hilarious. All right, so we'll fake this guy out. Whatever calf B evolves into. Rain continues to fall. Sapuku so gets his uh, leftovers heal. And we'll go for a faint attack. Considering how much that fake out did, I was gonna say that should do quite a bit of damage. Curse. I mean, sure, you're gonna die next turn anyway, so you do you, I guess, Caffy. You do you. <laughs> All right. Um. And oh, you haven't. You have Endor. Are you serious? Alright. Okay. Cool. I'll just cut you again. Let's just see what happens again. Hopefully you can don't hit Endor again, because then nothing will happen. But no, you don't, so you're dead. 300. That's cool. And a mill tank. Oh, no. Visions of Whitney. But we're not playing Gen. But we're not playing Gen 2, Chris. I don't care. <laughs> All right, faint attack. Let's roll it. Ooh, okay. Take just take this faint attack. Man, why are you so bulky? <laughs> why are you? I didn't appreciate that one bit. Not at all, Mill Tank. You can take that milk drink and you can stuff it. Now I'm. Oh no! Well, this is gonna be a three hit K or two more hits anyway. So if, if Sapuku can get a crit, which he does, <laughs> oh my god, he saw that bite. Sapuku saw that bite and was like, "Lol, nope." Bam! Critical hit. That's great. Sapuku also gains level forty-two. <laughs> Tauros. All right, this guy is all about like the like the bull, the bovine, the Pokemon of the bovine variety. That's cool. Here, take this faint attack again. Scary face. 
That speed drop doesn't affect us one bit. You're already faster than us. Look at that. Okay. Sapuku? Sapuku. Sapuku. Buddy. Buddy, buddy. Sapuku. Take this feign attack and get another crit for me. That would be fantastic right about now. Can you please do that? Can't have it all. <laughs> no. Why? Okay, you were a bit- okay, you were a turn late on that crit, but thank you for that crit. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was amazing. That's great. Sapuku. Man, oh man, oh man. Alright. I dropped my bagel. It's in the river. Well, you better go get it. Roving gangs of bagels kidnapped an elephant from the Moss Deep supermarket yesterday. You should be careful. After stealing an elephant, you're their obvious next target. Back to the table for more bagels. Alright. When the dead rise, who will defend the living? Isn't that the strap line to Sabriel? Hail Caesar! What? Strap line? Don't you mean plot line? You have a Dragonair. You have a Dragonair, good sir. Here, take this fake out. Okay. Um, I don't have any Dragonair Ice type moves, so you'll have to take this feint attack, because that's probably the next best thing I have. Draco Fury. Draco Fury. What? That did four. Uh, that's, um. What's the name of that move? That does power, or that always does damage equal to the amount of your level. Dragon Rage? Dragon Breath. No, not Dragon Breath. I thought it was Dragon Rage. I could be wrong. More than likely I am. I've been wrong before. Either which way, we got ourselves a Dragonair. Another one. This guy probably has a whole team of Dragonairs, honestly. Here, take this feign attack again. And Sapuku, if you can crit again, that'll be amazing right now. Sapuku. Normally I would tell you to calm down, but keep going. Keep going with these crits, because man, oh man, these are coming in great clutch right now. Alright. Puffy's now level 39, which is nice. A Dragonite. Here we go. A Dragonite. Let's go. Let's get it. It's done. Alright. Um, Dragonite, if I remember correctly, is fairly bulky, so, I don't, so I'm not expecting to 3-hit KO a Dragonite with Fain Attack. Survey says it's probably a four, maybe five. Yeah, this is not doing exactly the amount of levels, so, or the amount of his levels, so... Easy enough to tell how much HP it's going to do every time. So because I'm l higher than 42, he's going to live if he uses Draco Fury again. Oh, this will be a three-hit KO, unless he uses Slam. And I need to heal. That's fine. Look, I just noticed, look how adorable Dragonite's face is. Um, let's go for a Hyper Potion, let's heal myself up completely. And there's a Draco Fury again, so this should do 42. Yeah. Wait, it did 40 points. Uh, oh no. Okay. You know what? 
I'm gonna bide. You just set up yourself up for a world of hurt, my dude. Because with just that one hit, you just killed yourself. What are you gonna do? Twister? You're trying to flinch me now, boy. You're trying to flinch me. So on this next turn, I'm unleashing that energy. You're dead. Boom! Alright. Uh, good thing I picked up that elixir earlier, actually. When the monk when the monkfish rise, who will defend the mafia? Monkfish? I would be weary of holograms if I were you. He 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 he. Okay. Um Let's use this elixir. Um and where are we on time 16? Let's heal myself up a bit. That was what, four? That we defeated? Four or five. Oh yeah, we're at the end. Well it seems my it seems my friend is lost in the twisted weapon of intrigue and lies. Why not stop and listen to a freshing haiku? No. Here goes. There once was a kid from Hoenn who suffered a brain aneurysm. Their memory lost. They wandered around. That poor little kid from Hoenn. That was a limerick and didn't even rhyme. <laughs> Man, this game has a nice bit of charm to it. When it's not trying to infuriate me with puzzles. And we also got ourselves a Pupitar. Hmm. Something's telling me that this guy may have a Tyranitar. May have a Tyranitar. Now, um, I could potentially set myself up to get Gary out on the field. What's his fan? Eh, uh, fan attack is fine. Sandstorm. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Sapuku out. Because as long as. Because Sapuku is gonna, just gonna heal up all of the damage from the Sandstorm. Anyway. And Lord only knows that because the Deadly Seven are here, I'm obviously going the right way. So, we'll do that. Okay, so... Buffeted by the Sandstorm, that's fine. I should just do one more cut. Instead of Fate, instead of Fate Attack, I'll use Cut. That should take it out. And then, if he uses Pupitar again, I'm going to switch out into... Yeah. Um, I'm going to switch out into Gary. And I'm going to Fire Pump. Something tells me that this is maybe a bad idea, but we'll see. Never mind, that was a bad idea because Rock Slide. That's cool. Um, let's get Maya out. Let's get Maya out here. <laughs> get the Intimidate drop a bit. That's fun. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And buffeted by Sandstorm. That's fine. And Storm Surge. And we miss. Cool. Thrash. No. Okay, that was a crit. Sandstorm subsided. Hit. Carry this storm surge for me. Bye. Uh, our pupa tire's gone. Does this mean Tyranitar's coming out? Yup. Yes, it does. Yes, indeedy. Now you don't. Oh! Two, hy two hydro pumps in a row. Bye bye. I was going to say bye bye Tyranitar, but I guess not. Oops. Of all the moves, use scary face. Alright, let's hit another storm surge. And it should take out this Tyranitar if we hit it. And we hit it, we hit it. It's very good, very good, very good Tyranitar, or Maya. Bye bye. And there's this guy. You liked it, no? No, I didn't. I foresee we will meet again. We will always meet again because we will always be 
I'm not even going to say that last word because that last word is dumb. Okay. Um, there's a bag here. I'm going to explore a little bit more. I'm going to use that bag. Um, explore a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. Because there's a couple of berries up here that I want. You guys want to pick the citrus berries. And there's also an item up there that, uh, that I saw on the bridge. So we got to citrus and lepa, which is nice. Okay. Uh, there's also an item. Oh, no. Oh, it's on the other side. All right, let's... Ooh. Let's take this bag. Heal ourselves up a bit. Can I... I'm not able to hop. Oh, uh, that's a shame. All right, let's continue on, I guess. Let's continue on for a little bit more. So apparently I can't, um, I can't hop on that bike. That's unfortunate. I was actually looking forward to seeing what was over there. There's a house here. Uh, okay. So let's see what's in this house. What? I love living in endless plains. It's so dull. Uh, what is the point of this? It's so dull. Okay. Um, okay, so it looks like that there's a nice bit to do here. So, I'm going to end things off here. Yeah, I'm going to end things off here because it looks like that there's going to be a nice bit to do here and we're already at about 22 minutes. So if I continue on, it's going to be, this is going to be like an extra long episode. So, I'm going to end things off here. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer and I will see you in the next video.